Welcome to episode 1582, Fan Hongwei, Petrochemical Queen from China, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1582, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, she's the richest woman self-made billionaire in the world in 2022, from high school accountant. The richest woman self-made billionaire in the world. Lesson two, she has little education. At age 18, after she graduated from high school, she began working as an accountant in a textile factory. Lesson three, buy the best equipment. Honey adopts the most advanced processing route and purchases the world's top three equipments in the global petrochemical industry in the industrial park, with one time planning of 20 million tons of oil refining. Four, and four, the global vision. To get through the development of the whole industrial chain, from crude oil to textile, facing the change of the times, Honey continues to develop its business and takes the initiative to change. Honey not only follows the national strategy to lay out the whole country, but also goes to the world with a leading international vision. With Hongli speed, she has created a number of Chinese miracles. Lesson 5, building one-stop shop with upstream and downstream. Lesson 6, High quality is competitive edge. 而且在上半年,基本上都保持着张子复合高位,产品库存合理,和经营效益稳定的良好运行测试。在特殊时期,人维持着强势的市场竞争实力。Lesson 7 must have speed and efficiency. Output of high-value-added products with the lowest consumption of raw materials. Speed and efficiency are the driving force of Hong Lee's high-quality development. More than Lesson 8, quick turnaround in 1994. In she was 28, her husband 24. These two combined to invest in a struggling textile factory. They pay six hundred thousand US dollars for change all the old equipment and within one year the company was profitable. This and nine contrarian investing in nineteen ninety eight in nineteen ninety eight financial crisis when everybody contracted, they continue to expand the factory capacity. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.